Oh, this is going to be an exciting show, and trust us when we say it's going to be an exciting year too. Let's take a look at five brand spanking new cruise ships coming this year. Ahoy there, cruisers. We're Grace and Frankie. Well, <laughs> let's start off with cruise ship number one. So number one, I do not think we have ever been this excited about a cruise ship before. It's Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady. The first cruise ship from Sir Richard Bransom himself will hold 2,700 passengers. She finally starts sailing this February. They are mixing things up with things like drag brunches, epic DJ parties, and no nickel and diming. All the food and basic non-alcoholic drinks, as well as gratuities and Wi-Fi are all completely included in the price. And there's going to be more than 20 different eating venues and no buffet. Instead, there's going to be quick eat venues, a little bit like food trucks. And across Scarlet Lady's 16 decks, you're going to find champagne bars, karaoke booths, off-Broadway shows, nightclubs, and even a tattoo parlour. She will have no single-use plastic on board and has new engine technology to reduce emissions. It's really good. And this seems to be a theme through all of the ships that we're going to be talking about, really thinking about the environment. Yeah. So moving on to number two is going to be Odyssey of the Seas by Royal Caribbean. She'll be sailing from Miami from November 2020, and then she'll move to Europe in 2021. She's a quantum class ship, just like Ovation of the Seas and Anthem of the Seas, but she's going to have some brand new features and changes. She's technically a Quantum Plus class ship, meaning she's a little bigger, holding around 4,200 people. So, big ship guys, isn't it? Yeah. And on board, you're going to find a totally reimagined pool area with an island vibe and two resort style pools and four whirlpools, as well as the amazing North Star, which offers panoramic views 90 meters above sea level. In this area, you'll also find the Splashaway Bay, which is a colorful aqua park for the kids. And towards the front of the ship, you'll find two solariums, one for families, and one is the adults only solarium at the very front of the ship. So the new Seaplex will be the largest indoor activity space at sea, complete with bumper cars, glow in the dark laser tag, plus an arcade with VR games and even rollerblading. The Playmaker's Sports Bar will now be located on the second level of the Seaplex. So that's a bit different, isn't it? It's a really cool area. At the back of the ship, you'll find a 40-foot climbing wall, as well as the Flowrider Surf Simulator, I Fly by Ripcord, the incredible skydiving simulator, which is really terrifying. Uh -huh. And a brand new feature is the Skypad, which is a VR trampoline, as well as a clear glass walkway with views of the ocean below. Sure, that's going to be terrifying as well. There'll be favourites on the ship too, like an all-new music hall, and the 270 Theatre, which features robotic screens, projections and some really cool and crazy performances. Love it. And dining wise, Lime and Coconut will be on board, featuring two stories of drinks and pool views. You'll also find El Loco Fresh serving authentic Mexican grab and go food. Do you like my Mexican accent there? I did. And that, that's included in the price as well, isn't yeah. it? That's not an extra charge. And there's going to be brand new Giovanni's table as well, which is the Italian on board, as well as favourites such as Chops Grill, Wonderland and Azumi, the specialty restaurants. So number three is the Celebrity Apex. It's the second Edge class ship in line after Celebrity Edge. And if it's going to be anything like Celebrity Bedge, Bedge? Bedge? If it's going to be anything like Celebrity Edge, it's going to be absolutely beautiful. She'll hold around 2,900 people and debut in April in the UK, right Woo here. Like Edge is going to feature infinite balconies with remote control electric windows and there's going to be a massive 29 different places to eat on board including places like the Eden Cafe, Le Grand Bistro and Le Petit Chef, Little Chef. This is an awesome experience with animated characters appearing on your table. Sounds really cool doesn't it? It does, it's really awesome. We got to have a peek at this on the edge and it was honestly I was legitimately blown away because we were lucky enough to get on in Malta earlier on last year and it really blew us away. She is truly a beautiful ship. So different to what we've seen before. Everything, even like the corridors are all sort of windy and gorgeous and delicious. Just a lovely, oh, a lovely ship. I was so impressed. Okay. Apex will again feature the bright orange magic carpet where on each level you'll find a different experience as the venue transforms 
off the side of the ship. So it goes That's up and really down the cool. side of the ship. There's also the rooftop garden with the ambient lighting, beautiful plants, and plenty of places to hang out in the sun with a cocktail. Oh, it sounds amazing. Oh, amazing. And on the resort deck, this is the pool deck, there's a pool area complete with champagne glass style whirlpools, an adults only solarium, and inside you'll find the Eden. It really is a space unlike anything we have ever seen before with a crazy entrance. It's a three levels of ex it's three levels of century it's a three levels of century with three levels of sensory experiences fully enclosed in glass and looking out to the ocean. This is a wild space. It has live performances during the night by creatures that come alive and stuff. It's totally bonkers, guys. It sounds pretty bonkers. Bonkers. Love it. Entertainment wise, there's plenty on offer, including futuristic performances in the theater, including new twists on Shakespeare, as well oh, as the club. Romeo, Romeo, where, where art thou, Romeo? Romeo? He sat there. Oh, oh, oh no, nice. So, back to Shakespeare. What was I saying? There's gonna, Shakespeare. Be a, there's gonna be a club which will feature dance parties and DJs in the night if Sha Shakespeare isn't your thing. Yeah, for, so from Shakespeare to partying and on guys, it. Guys, can you tell me where that quote comes from? Shakespeare. Shakespeare in love. What film does that come from? Shakespeare. One of my favorite films. The Grand Plaza will be at the heart of the ship. It's a three-story venue surrounded by cafes, bars, and restaurants. And Celebrity Airpox, Airpox? Do you want to I change the name of the ship? I think we've called this ship about 12 different names. <laughs> Celebrity Airpox? So Celebrity Apex will also become the first ship in the fleet to use shore power when she launches. So number four is the p o Cruises Iona. This brand new ship will be launched in May and is the biggest ship in the Pino Cruises fleet. She will hold around 5,200 passengers and will sail exclusively from the UK. Oh, so this one's for us. How lovely is yeah, that? Yeah, it's a real British experience on board. She really looks fantastic and will feature things like a four screen cinema showing the latest blockbusters as well as classic movies. The first gin distillery at sea as well as a three deck atrium and sky dome. This is going to be a honeycomb glass solarium which is perfect for cooler climates. It will also feature entertainment in there such as aerial performers on a night. It sounds fantastic. It does sound it? fantastic. It's got a stage and everything so it'll come out it'll totally change purpose from the day where yeah. it's like a sunbathing area just to chill out onto a night where it's a big entertainment venue. And it's nice that it's inside because, you know, typical British weather. From the concept images and videos, she really looks like she'll be a stunning ship. And you're not going to get hungry or bored as there was 15 restaurants to choose from and 13 different entertainment values. Values, venues. Venues, sorry. <laughs> So dining wise, there'll be options such as the gastro pub called the Keelan Cow. Who are you calling a cow? <laughs> oh, the pub. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Keys Pizza and favourites such as the Glass House, which is delicious. We oh, tried this yummy, before. Yummy. Yeah, we've had that on the Britannia before. Entertainment will be found all over the ship, including live music and impromptu performances. Popping during... up in your shower? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. could you imagine? <laughs> Get out! What are you doing playing a violin in the shower? I'm sure it's going to be a little bit more classy than that. Yeah. So during the evenings, there's going to be more than 10 bars and lounges to choose from. So there's going to be so much to do in the day and on an evening. Sorry, I'm just picturing you with, you're getting out the shower in the summer day with a violin. And this ship will also be powered by more environmentally friendly liquefied natural gas or LNG, which is great as well. Yeah. So finally, we have the Enchanted Princess. Oof. Yes. Oof. Oof, she's lovely. We got to, we got to sail a sky, didn't we, last year? Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, she is an absolutely incredible ship. Yeah, and Enchanted Princess will be the fifth world class ship in the Princess fleet. And she'll feature most of the same things as the Sky Princess, so take a look at our Sky Tour as well to get a taster. And how lucky are we? She's going to debut and be christened in the UK in 2020. Yay. We're getting all of these new ships, guys, before you and the you and I, America do. They haven't announced who's going to christen it yet, you know. Me and Ben are available. Yeah, it was a princess the first time, so why not pick a queen? <laughs> No, it was the princess, uh, the, uh, the the princess Cambridge, what's her face? Catherine. It was the Duchess of Catherine. Cambridge. Kate. So, and so maybe it's going to be the Duchess of Sussex. Oh, then after that, she's going to sail in the Med. She's going to hold around 3,600 passengers and she'll feature the amazing ocean medallion technology that we got to try out on the sky. And trust us, guys, this technology was amazing. Yeah, it was. All I was and everything. Yeah, I was really actually genuinely impressed with the ocean medallion technology. It was really cool. 
she will also have the most pools and whirlpools or hot tubs you'll ever see on any other princess ship. Oh, amazing. As well as fantastic original entertainment. There is something around every corner, including pop-up street performances. So they're going to be popping up in your shower again. Oh my God, like, <laughs> you terrifying me. I'm just waiting to go into my bathroom and find a five piece brand. Don't worry, they're going to be in the piazza oh alongside God. live music, theatrical shows, deck parties and lectures. On the pool deck, you'll find the large screen for the movies under the stars, complete with free popcorn, blankets and cookies. Oh, lovely. Dining wise, she's going to feature exclusive restaurants such as Crafted by Curtis Stone, Gigi's Pizza, which has been renamed from Alfredo's. Oh. There'll also be favourites such as the International Cafe, 24 hour food, amazing guys, Sabatini's Italian, and the Salty Dog Grill, offering delicious pub gastro dishes in there as well. Delicious. As soon as you mention Alfredo's, my tummy just goes like, Yes. So guys, we do have a number six as well. We've just uploaded a brand new video about the Carnival Mardi Gras. So we didn't put it in the ship, but she's going to be amazing, trust us. She's the first ship in the world, get this, to feature a roller coaster on a ship. And it's coming this year too. So take a look at it now. It's going to be in one of these corners, isn't it? Dave? So that's it for this episode, but we want to know guys, which ship are you excited about that's going to be coming this year? It can be one from our list or one we haven't mentioned. Let us let know us in the know. comment section below. Yeah, let us know in the comment section below. We'd love it if you consider subscribing to us too as well. We have so much fab content. That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising. Why are fast yachts like furniture sales? Why are fast yachts like furniture sales? Because they always have sails on. Ah, uh, like the sails. Very clever. Well done.